And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Oakland Athletics. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Brent Rooker. Yeah, Boogie's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. Just about ready to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Mason Miller. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. That pitch clips the outside corner. And we're underway here on Mother's Day. First pitch, 107. And the righty deals. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And one and two. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. The 1-0. And the 1-0 misses low. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. The wind to kick the 2-0. Just missed. One down, base is empty. And there's the strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And that's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Five for 14 in the series coming in. In there, and it's 0-1. Seeger leads off first with one away. Here we go, turn two. The next offering misses, and the count is one and one. And the pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one back there. And gone! So he blasts one out the other way. His ninth homer of the year. It's 2-0. the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark you want to bottle that type of approach next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter Adolis Garcia 
First pitch, and he just misses. Rip towards third. Over to Aguilar. And Garcia is out. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Nathaniel Lowe. Boog, his batting average is on the rise right now. He's hitting over 350 over the last 10 ball games, And you can see the confidence that he's carrying around just watching him walk to the plate. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Young. Struggling a little bit in this series. He's two for 12. First pitch just misses. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. And the right hander deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. That's down and in. Two balls, one strike. The why to kick the pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Kicks and fires. And it's filled up. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. And he walked him. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. In the dirt, but kept close. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that one missing low. Two one. Let's go, three to go, baby. Let's go. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Here comes a 3-2. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three two now. In the air out to center. Makes the catch and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer. It's now a two nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Oakland. And our starting pitcher here today, Andrew Heaney. And this will be a tough test for him. Pitching on the road has not been that kind to his numbers. Well, I think he's just got to trick himself mentally and put himself go. in a comfort level like he baseball. does at home. I know it's not the same being on the road as yeah. away from home in terms of being able to have a routine and be consistent with it. But this game is so much mental, and he's going to have to find a way to play a mind game with himself to move through this ball game and get a W. Kicks and deals. Ball, that's too high. Now 
That that's one misses, three. and that's ball three. Well, after putting up a nice no inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back that's up there while they're hot. Nick. Digging in for Oakland, Nick Allen, with just one hit in nine at-bats so far in this series. Now a screamer into the outfield. And no one can get there. It falls in. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That is cool. So up next, Brent Rooker. Fifth in home runs in the American League. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kemp on second. Allen on at first with nobody out. That's next offering ball. misses. Two and oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss there. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. At the belt and fires. That one just misses. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. First and second here, no outs. The punch out there and one away. Oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video, that Not pitch, he's going to want to punch <laughs> himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, wow. and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. So here's Brown at the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. One out. Runners at first and second. Oh. Off the mark there. And it's one and one. One one is fouled off. And now the lefty got him. Back to back strikeouts. Oh, well, this guy's been pretty much a non factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series, so no doubt. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the inning. A strand a couple. They trail it here 2 0. And welcome back. Brad Miller now. The third baseman, number 13. Brad Miller. The pitch. Strike on the inside corner, Miller. He's kind of interesting. You know, when you dig into the tendencies, he does a good job of limiting the hits, but the walks continue to be a problem. Here comes the 0-1. That one ran inside, almost got him. Well, he's got such nasty stuff that I think, you know, hitters, they're just not as willing to try to get something because it's hard to square them up. And when you have pitches that are ending up just outside the strike zone, until they get called for strikes, hitters are not going to pull the trigger. in the pitch that's out to center field Brown has this one sized up hauls it in for the out 
you know, against a guy like this, I'm looking for something straight. I'm not going to be successful hitting anything that's got movement on it. I've got to look for a four-seamer and try to get it up in the zone. So digging in, Josh Smith. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a foul ball. Owen Chu now. Good eye right there. It's a good take. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Jonah Heim, the next to hit. First offering misses the mark. Righty to the plate. And now two and nothing. Eric Summersgill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. That one inside. Three balls, no strikes. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless the hitters got to hit to his strength so you're aware of it but you have to just hunt for what you can handle and ball four to a board he just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one definitely more walks than you'd like to see as the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Simeon stands in now and watches strike one. Next one misses, and that's ball one. Two on, one out. And yeah, that's too high. Smith, the lead runner out at second. Heim at first, one gone. Two two now. Simeon waits. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Rooker pulls it down and there's two gone. The batter number five, shortstop Corey Seager. And here's Corey Seager to hit. He walked and came around to score his first time up. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. First and second, two down. The 0 2. And ball one.
just off the inside edge. Here's a 2 2. Got him looking. That's the third out. Rangers leave a pair as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Jesus Aguilar. Heaney back to work. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now it's going to be number 44. in there and that's strike one nobody out runner at first fouled off he was late the 0 2 keeps the at bat going with a foul ball he needs to throw that breaking ball with just a little more conviction to get the swing and miss Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Batting eight, the right fielder. Bravo, Laureano. Laureano comes up the hit. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And strike two. Next one just misses. And the count one and two. Two strikes. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Sit down on strikes. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, oh, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. The pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. And now two and one. There's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Two two on the way. That misses off the outside edge. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. So now two on and two outs. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and no make a call with that five. last pitch, but Second neither pitch happened. Man. Close pitch, no but a good take to earn that walk. Yeah. So the batting order turns over. Here's Tony Kemp. And yep. the first pitch misses for ball one. That one out to right. Dives, but he can't get it. It's a foul ball. 
Aguilar at second. Smith on it first with two down. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Smith flashes the leather on the run and catch. After two, it's a two nothing ball game. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe, 27 years old, and he took home the Silver Slugger last year in the American League. That pitch in for a strike, going one. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game. That one is absolutely belted and gone. He leaves the yard to right. His second home run of the game, it's 3-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. That one finds the zone. Strike one. one. Another thing I love is how they've allowed the game to come to them. They're not forcing the issue when they're on offense. And when you force and get anxious, it starts being a lot more likely that you'll let those pitchers off the hook. And he deals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. In the air, left field down the line. Rooker sizing this one up. Pulls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Young measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. Check swing went around and it's nothing in two. And now one and two. That misses two and two. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Towards first. And he takes it himself for the out. The center field is number three. Leody Tavares. Two outs, space is empty. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Flight out to center in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Tried to hold up on the 0-2. Now a look down to third. And that's going to be ruled a swing. Ripped on the ground a second. Kemp gets it to first. And that is that. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Rangers Baseball on the show DFW. Set for the bottom of the third, digging in for Oakland, Nick Allen. That's shortstop. Nick Allen. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's in there. That's strike one.
Good eye right there. Well struck left field. Way back there. And that one is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. His first homer of the year. And they close the gap. It's 3-1. Singy, he's been waiting for this moment to finally come. Well, we knew it would come eventually, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him going a nice little run at the plate, hitting some balls out of the ballpark. He's got that monkey off his back. With the low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there, patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Clips the outside corner, strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Now they just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul wow. something off, extend that at bat. Seth Brown up next for the A's. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there for strike one. Brown in his third season, batting in the cleanup spot. And he's usually a first baseman, but today he starts in the outfield. Next pitch has popped up. Heim puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Now batting. The designated hitter. Aledmus Diaz oh, now grounded out Diaz. to short in his first trip. Out to short. Seeger. Throws across the diamond. Out number three. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. As we go to the top Leading of the fourth, and here is Brad base, Miller. Number 13, Brad Miller. The right-hander back to work. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. Ball to strike. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Righty delivers. And that's outside. It's two and two. Here comes the pitch. High in the air, out to right. Loriano settles under it. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really now drive it. The left fielder. Next up Josh. for Texas, Josh Smith. He reached out a walk his first time. Hey. Clips the corner. One one. And a pitch. And there's a ball.
And he hits a ground ball right side. Kemp. Two quick oh. outs here in the top of the four. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get okay. there. Just rolled Number over it. Got the ground ball. Jonah. Huh. Two outs. Base is empty. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This is important. If he can go 1, 2, 3 here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Foul ball there. <laughs> 0 and 2 now. And that one is inside ball one. And now it's even up. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Marcus Simeon to bat next. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Hit hard, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Ken Waldachuk on the pitch here. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Now it's Marcus Simeon. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Man on second, two down. Allen zips it across, and Simeon is out. Third out, and that ends the frame. One left for Texas, and the score stays three to one. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading the off the bottom of the fourth, Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. You know, these athletics do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, that'll boost the swing and miss rate, Singy. Blew him away on three pitches. He didn't have a chance. Yeah, Boog, a dominant strikeout for sure. And he just looked overmatched at the plate. You know, as a hitter, when you swing and miss three times in a row, you feel like you've got a hole in your bat. You definitely start to question yourself. And now here's the A's catcher, number 44. 
First nope. offering, okay. and it just misses. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And here it comes. Ball two. That's in for a strike. Strike two. The wide to kick the pitch. On the ground. Into the outfield. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Ramon Laureano. Struck out looking in his first at bat. There's a strike. in there and it's 0 and 2 a swing and a soft liner and that's just foul and a pitch Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Kevin Smith up next for the A's. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Two outs. There's a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. At the belt and fires. Line drive. And base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Tony Kemp up next for the A's. That's in there. Strike one. And the pitch. Inside corner for a strike, and it's 0 2. 0 2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I'm going to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed or way. Next pitch inside. The count now two and two. Slider misses outside. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is foul back. Payoff pitch. Bounce to the right. Low. Takes it himself. And the inning is over. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Rangers three and the A's one. Back in Oakland. New inning getting started. And now Corey Seager. The shortstop. Corey Seager. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And now the count is even.
And delivers outside. Pitch misses inside. Three and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. There's a strike. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've already earned five walks in the game, and of course, that's provided them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. And down on strikes he goes. One out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. This to third. Knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Designated hitter, Josh Young. So first and second with one man gone. Now here's the Rangers DH, Josh Young. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The pitch. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Now 3 and 0. Oh. Runners at first and second with one gone. That's a strike, and the count is three and one. Hit hard, that gets through. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw's offline, he's safe. Up by three, it's four to one. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One down. Here's the center fielder, Leody Tavares. That one ripped. That's going back. Back some more. And it's gone. Home run. His first homer of the year. And they add to the lead. It's 7-1. hitter gets pitch recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it 
So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Shintaro Fujinami. Well, home runs have been a problem this year. Not doing a great job keeping the ball in the yard so far this season. So we'll see if that factors in. One out, base is empty. Brad Miller digs in now. Still only one out here in the inning. And there's the strike. Next pitch is outside. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Now batting. Left fielder. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. That's off the mark. And that is ball one. In the air, left side, Rooker under it. That is the inning. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run homer. And the lead is stretched to 7-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Bottom of the inning at the play, Nick okay. Allen. Not shortstop. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Makes the grab one away. Now batting, left fielder. So up next, Brent Rooker. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. In there, and it's 0-1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Just nope. missed. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Bounce to the left side. Over to first. Old man for the fifth inning. Moving along. Two quick outs. Now a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Next up for the A's, Seth Brown. And there's the strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. Next pitch inside. inside. And the count even one and one. And that one is lifted in the air. Smith makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the A's are gone in order. They're down 7-1. to one. Back here in the East Bay, top six. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Fujinami, 28 years old, and he was... Born in Japan. And he deals. 
Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. The pitch. Ball. The 1 1. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, in safely with a double, his second of the day. Oh, Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped the all over it. Absolutely <laughs> smoked that ball. Here is Marcus Simeon. That catches the zone for a strike. Going one. Runner leads away at second. Softly hit to third. And he picks it up in foul territory. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Oh and two now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Now it's Corey Seager. There's the strike of the knees. Runner at second here, one gone. That one misses. Ball one. Left hand batter waits. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. He held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. Man at second. And there's a fly ball. Deep right field. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Runner tags up for third. Now battle. The first base. And here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Left-hand hitter waits. And for a strike, 0-2. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Well, that pitch right there didn't even the right snip field. the zone. He was Adolis. all out of whack on that delivery. Garcia. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. That one hit to right. Makes a nice running catch. And that'll do it. Rangers leave a pair, and they're on top 7-1. A new pitcher in the game, Dane Dunning. 
Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. For the A's, the designated hitter. A lead Miss Diaz. The pitch. Fought off foul. You know, these A's finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And the righty deals. Rip to short. Over to low. And a quick out number one. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. First offering misses badly for ball one. Bounce to the right side. Low takes it to the bag. And a couple of quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Number 44. Little chopper rolls foul. You'll want. Ball inside. Good That's eye in that spot. Two-two now. Three. He goes down looking. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Austin Pruitt. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Young. The pitch. That one missed. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And oh, another ball. Man. The 2-1. Way high. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The right hander deals. Now, this is in the air down the line. Loriano trying to get there. Brings it in. One down. Now batting the center fielder, Leody Tavares. Here's Leody Tavares. He's already homered in this game. That one's in there. That's strike one. And 
And that's a strike. No ball, two strikes. Next offering way upstairs. And downstairs. In the air right field. Loriano settles under it. And there's two away. The third baseman, number 13. Brad. Up next for the Rangers, Brad Miller. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. of the pitch and that's outside right-handed reliever down and in moved his feet Good plate okay. appearance there. Able to take the walk. The batter, the left fielder. Next up Josh. for Texas, Josh Smith. Smith. Smash to the left side. They take the force out, and that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for the traditional seventh inning stretch. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh, and now the right fielder, Ramon right Laureano. Laureano. And the pitch. That one in there across the letters. The outside corner, and that is strike two. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's now another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile yeah. off. His confidence level has got yeah. to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs him. Smith in the box now. No balls and a strike. Ball that one. misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out without a swing. 
Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really yeah. settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the lineup flips over, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tony Kemp. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Seeger fires over to first, gets him easily, ends the inning. Adrian Martinez gets the ball now. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. The pitch. Heim stands in here, takes ball one low. Bullpen activity starting up now. Trevor May preparing to come on if needed. Kicks and deals. And that is in for a strike. And a count one and one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The batter number two, second base. Hit. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Inside and it hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Seeger, the next to hit, takes ball one. And it's even up. No outs. Runners at first and second. Next one is off the play. Now two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now batting. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Grounder might be two to second. That's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers seven and the A's one.
Out of the bottom of the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, the shortstop. Nick Allen. Nick Allen. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Bounce to third. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Here's the left fielder, Brent Rooker. That's a little bit low. Ball one, no strike. Up the middle. Throws to first. Two up, two down. Now batting. The center fielder. Set. And now the center fielder, Seth Brown. First pitch, just misses. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Not close with that one. Now 2-0. Inside oh, just right. missed. And a pitch. Three. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We go to the ninth. Leading now it's the, the right racing. fielder, Adolis right Garcia. Adolis. Martinez, a 6'2 righty, 26 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Martinez, back to work. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Josh Young getting ready to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Garcia around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. So, man aboard. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. He's already homered here in this one. Good eye right there. No outs, runner on second. Lifted in the air down the left side. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. 
The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 9-1. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Now here is Brad Miller, and that's down it away. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expect Dives back, and he's out! I don't know if he was looking to go right there or not, but he was clearly fooled by the pickoff move. Quick feet, quick release over there by the pitcher. Really quick tag as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Out there to center. It gets down a base hit. Now batting. Just a field. very nice approach Josh. and swing right there to use the big yeah. part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Runner on at first with one gone. Now the batter now, Josh Smith. Hold it one now. Swing and a foul straight back. Oh, and two now. The punch out there. That's out number two. The batter. The and here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Heim. That misses the zone. One and oh. Left field, and that's a fair ball. Miller around second, headed for third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Second base. to the top of the lineup and now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter Marcus Simeon and ball one A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Miller, the runner at third. Heim at second with two gone. That one down the line and foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
and a pitch on the ground to short Allen to first oh, and out. Simeon is out inning over and it could have been worse they put two on the board five hits no errors but two are left stranded five six and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth it's the Rangers nine and the A's one bottom nine leading off let me Diaz the designated hitter Diaz. and here it comes outside outside There's a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. The pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Digging in for Oakland, Jesus Aguilar. In there for strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The 0-1. In the dirt, blocked. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. And he deals. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Runner at second, nobody out. Soft contact in the air, makes the grab one down. Now batting, the catcher, Carlos. Here's the catcher to hit, number 44. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. That one the other way. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Now batting, right fielder, Ramon Laureano. Ramon Laureano, up next for the A's. That's in for a strike. In the air, left field. Smith settles underneath it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers take the finale here. They win the series three games to one. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save.